of the questions we are discussing in this video uh, the what is the difference between competence and performance and why is it important to make the distinction between competence and performance and how do we competence and performance apply to the real language classroom so let's get started as you can see the history noam chomsky an american linguist first introduced the concept of performance and competence as a part of the foundations for his generative grammar so the first question you can expect who is the founder or who introduced the concept performance and competence it is noam chomsky here are the definitions of competence and performance so competence actually the person's knowledge of its language Ru the system rules which a language user has mastered so that it would be possible for that user to produce and understand an infinite number of sentences and recognize grammatical mistakes and ambiguities so that is what competence competence means the, the knowledge okay such as grammar the grammar skills etc and performance a term used in the linguistic theory of transformational generative grammar so it is very important and the term performance used in the linguistic theory transformational generative grammar refers to language is seen as a set of specific utterances produced by native speakers okay so uh, we will discuss it in more details about it now the next uh, slide so the question how do we know that students have learned the language okay we can assess students by using various uh, tools like formative summative assessment but how do we know that a student will actually be able to use their language in real life or authentic situation in short we can say uh, how do we know that our students are competent the in the target language one way to judge this competency is through student performance however how do we know that this performance is an accurate measure of what student actually know so the differences between competence and performance chomsky separates competence and performance he describes competence as an idealized capacity that is located as a psychological or mental property or function and performance as the production of actual utterances performance is actually the production of actual utterances in short the competence involves knowing the language and performance involves doing something with language the difficult with uh, the difficult with this construct is that it is very difficult to assess competence without assessing performance why it is important to make a distinction between competence and performance Now, nothing the distinction between competence and performance is useful uh, primarily because it allows those studying a language to differentiate between a speech error and not knowing something about the language to understand this distinction it it is helpful to think about a time when you have made some sort of error in your speech see for example let's say you are a native speaker of english and utter the following we swimmed in the ocean this weekend is this error due to competence or performance so let us discuss on that it is most likely that as an native speaker you are aware how to conjugate irregular verbs in the past but you but your performance has let you down this time the linguistics use the distinction between competence and performance to illustrate the intuitive difference between accidentally saying swimmed and the fact that the child or non proficient speaker of english may not know that the past tense of swim is swam and say swimmed consistently as we have learned a competence and performance involve knowing and doing in the recent past many language instruction programs have focused more on knowing the competence part of learning a language where in words and sentences are presented and uh, practiced in a way that best help learners internalize the forms 
the assumption here is that once the learner have learned the information, they will be able to use it through reading, writing, listening, and speaking. The disadvantage, the disadvantage of this approach is that the learners are unable to use the language in a natural way. 